All right, let's now take a look at the world settings of the properties panel. These are settings that help define your sky and the overall lighting and atmosphere of your 3D world. So if I put my uh, camera, if I sort of point my camera upwards at the world, um, you'll see that when I press the render button, you have a boring gray sky, pretty much. You can change that obviously, and I can maybe, I won't go into the detail, but I can choose to have my own sky texture or something like that. So now when I render, I have a sky. So yeah, these settings basically allow you to control um, the type of sky that you want to create. Or you can choose to use your own sky by using an image texture and, and selecting some random sky image that you probably have in your file. Volume, uh, what this means is it allows you to create a uh, misty sort of effect. Uh, sometimes it looks really, really good in renders when you have a bit of that mist sort of effect or fog or that kind of stuff. That's basically what you use volume for. Ambient occlusion, basically this is used for things like global illumination where you don't need light sources. Lighting is spread evenly among these objects and things like that. You'd probably use ambient occlusion. Ray visibility, basically what this means is if you don't want to render if you don't want the sky to affect the uh, camera, then when I turn off camera, you will not see a sky. Uh, or if I don't want the sky to affect the reflection, I turn off that. Or if I don't want the sky to reflect the diffuse, I turn off that. So as you can see, the, the, the objects look black because there's no diffuse, or basically no, no, the light does not bounce off these objects, so you just see black. Uh, the settings, uh, these are advanced settings, uh, basically volume, you can control how you want your, basically how you want your fog or your mist to look. So there's a few more. Custom properties, forget about it, there's nothing useful there. The preview, you can sort of see a preview of your sky. So if I change these settings to say that, you can see the sky change. And that's also reflects when you render the final animation as well. So yeah that's that is the world settings of the properties panel in blender in the next video we will look at the object tab of the properties panel